Hello, today I will show you in a few very simple steps how you can monitor or control several devices via the internet. For this project I chose an ESP32 board and the XY remote software that also includes a cloud server and an application in the Play Store for Android, or App Store for iOS. For this project, two simple steps are required. 1. Creating an account in the XY remote application and a few mouse clicks. 2. Creating a code for the ESP32 board. Arduino, or other microcontroller, also with a few mouse clicks with the Visuino application. Open the XY remote application and create an account. It takes a few moments. I already have one created. We enter the application and start a new project. We declare the devices we use. In the given example I have an ESP32 board with included Wi-Fi board. The next step is to choose what we want to do, control a device or monitor the device. In the example presented, I chose a controlled device and a monitored one. For control I chose an on-off switch through which I give an on-off command, and monitoring with the help of a scale. After choosing the symbols, you can change the colors, size and other details such as the background. It should be noted that XY Remote offers up to 5 elements for free, if you want a larger number you have to pay. In our example we only have 2. We leave the project open and go to step 2 the Visuino software through which we create a code for the ESP32 board with a few clicks of the mouse. Find the download link and links to many other projects with Visuino in the description. Open Visuino and choose the board model. I chose ESP32 Lowland because it has a 5V pin to be able to connect analog sensors with a variation of 0, 5V. The next step is to connect the board to our Wi-Fi network. Open the properties of the ESP32 board on the left and choose the Wi-Fi section. Choose an access point and drag it with the mouse to the left, then edit its properties. For the password, fill in the password of the Wi-Fi network you have, and enter the name exactly in the SSID section. SSID is the name of the network. Close the access point section and the socket option and drag with the mouse to the left TCP client. Close the Wi-Fi section and in the upper right, look for the XY remote element. Drag and drop to the left side. We return to the XY remote application and copy the code into the Visuino element. We choose the communication protocol in the cloud. In the My Token section we create a new one to be able to use the connection to the cloud server of the XY remote application. Copy paste to the Visuino element. Now, we choose the elements from XY remote, one for control, one more for monitoring. The elements in the input section are for control, those in the output section for monitoring on the phone screen. 
We connect the elements to the pins of the ESP32 board where we give and receive commands and information. I chose pin 33 for reading the analog sensor with the variation of 0, 5 volts and pin 5 for the on-off command. I added a small display to have the information about connecting the board to the Wi-Fi network, more precisely the address obtained. Even if you don't mount the display, build the code exactly as in the example, it helps to connect the board to the Wi-Fi network. Load the code into the ESP32 board choosing the correct port. We download XY remote applications from the Play Store for Android or the App Store for iOS. Connect the USB cable and wait a few moments. If the settings were made correctly, the board will assign itself an IP. We turn off the Wi-Fi network, we test via the internet via mobile data. Here you will have to enter the series from the My Token section. I simulated the sensor through a potentiometer. The ESP32 boards refer to the 3.3 volt analog pins. To be compatible with the 5 volt reference, a resistive divider consisting of two resistors is mounted. Find the diagram in the description. If you liked my project, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Thank you.